What's up everybody? David Burns here. Got a feeling some of my hives might be a little bit low on candy boards. And I got to check on that little tiny one, that little single deep, see if it made it through that brutal cold weather we have. Let's go take a look. Ooh, there's my winter cluster and I went a little too long before I changed out my candy board and they even built some comb with the can with the sugar they were using they built some comb from this frame up to the empty side of the candy board so we're going to, have to remove those we have a low tonight of 12 degrees, so it's gonna be cool tonight. I just don't like killing any bees when I'm scraping uh, this stuff off the top. This extra burr comb, uh, it's gonna to be kind of tough to get off because it's so cold outside. There's a bee on there and I, I don't want to take her with me. There you go. Look how they're just clinging to that comb. Quite amazing. There's a lot of bees down in the hive. It's probably you can hear or tell. I'm getting close. They built this because after they ate the candy, they wanted to build a little comb, it looks like to me. I'm not going to leave the hive open too long here. I'm almost done. Again, if this is your first time joining me on my YouTube channel and you don't know much about bees in the winter time, bees actually don't heat the inside of their um, home, house, hive like we do. Um, they actually only get warm by close proximity to other bees. So sometimes you'll find bees that are pretty cold outside of the immediate cluster. That's enough. I do have bees on me and the only reason they're on me is because I'm warm, I guess. To them. They're actually on my face. All right, that's going to be good enough for us. Double check that. Some of this area right here seems to be holding me up, I think. I'm leaving my top cover there just to give the bees some protection. Yeah, that's a better seal. All right, good job. Let's put this winter, put this top cover on now. All right, I'm a little curious here how the hive's doing with, with this super full of honey and the winter be kind on it. We wanna double check, make sure they haven't eaten through it all. Let's get our smoker. I like smoking this winter be kind uh, lift a little bit more. Just because I'm not wearing a hat or a veil today. All right. Wow. Look at that. They ate it all. And they went down. Somebody asked me on a YouTube comment 
Would the bees come up and eat the winter bee kind and leave the honey super? In this case, they did. I see them down in there. They're starting to come up here at the top. See them here? Let's put this back on temporarily. We will give them another one here in a second. Uh, but let's just take a look. I think I'll take a look between these two boxes, the super and the deep, see where they're at. I have a lot of weight in this super, so I don't worry about it blowing off, breaking the propolis seal. And I'm doing this for educational purposes. You should never inspect your hive like this. Ooh, look at those bees. So the bees are actually down in their deep and they're coming up and eating these winter bee kinds as they pass through this upper super. So what we'll do is go get another winter bee kind to put on there. So I'll just go ahead and uh, take the old winter bee kind off this bone dry. That's probably some bees that have worked their way up there now. Oh yeah, I figured that. All right. They're saying, David, about time you put another winter bee kind on here. All right, there you go. They're not eating their super yet. They prefer my delicious winter bee kind to save their super for later, I guess. That looked pretty good. All right, did it slide? No, we're good, all right. Okay, the big drum roll. Little single deep box that is not doing well, doesn't have many bees left in it. Went through a night of horrific cold weather. Very windy and cold. I suspect it may have burned them out. Let's take a look. Yeah, better me out there than you, as cold as it is, right? <laughs> well, before we open up the single deep, take a look at it. Let me remind you that if you're receiving value from these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's open up that little deep. The winter bee kind is heavy. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's don't bother them. <laughs> <laughs> they were over here, now they're over there. It's like weird. The little the little hive that couldn't seems to can. The little hive that just won't die out is hanging in there in a single deep. I'd like to think that my winter be kind is uh, helping them out a lot because they are right there eating it. All right, let's take a look at this hive. We might as well. This has kind of become a YouTube star. The hive that's eating me out of house and home. It's got a lot of bees up, up in it. Just two uh, deep hive bodies. This one last, one time we looked, we found this one to be just chuck full of honey, kept over honey. And they're still going through these. I've lost count. I'm going to smoke them this time because there's a, probably a lot of bees in there. All right, let's see what we got. It's a little noisy. Wow, they are eating through it, aren't they? A lot of bees in the hive. So let's leave that on there a little bit longer. I don't think it's ready to be changed out yet. Man, I'm going to be glad to get in out of the cold. Oh, it feels better inside a warm room. And I bet you're wondering, should you really be opening up your hives, David? Can you really take the tops off and have them open that long? That's a legitimate concern. And I've got a video just about that. How long can you keep these tops off? Is it bad for bees? Take a look at this video right here. Take a look.